Do not let these security companies talk you into going on ahead and placing your hands on people. Your first job as a security officer is to pre prevent things from occurring. Conflict resolution, talking appropriately when you, you know, have the ability to be able to do that and the space, you know, understanding conflict resolution and then observe and report. Don't put your hands on people because you mess around, put your hands on people. You're going to get fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you. <laughs> if you if you doubt it look around your waist and ask yourself what don't i have on my belt if they don't have if you don't have a gun that means they don't want you to do gun shit yeah. <laughs> right right for real that's why i said i, I just talked look if you don't have a radio that means your backup is a long way away. And even if your radio work, that don't mean people are coming, right? If you don't have keys, it's going to be hard for you to get indoors. I'm just saying, right? If you don't have cuffs, they don't want you to touch hands. I'm just saying, if you don't have a baton, the only beat that you're going to beat is Michael Jackson. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all you want you to do. Said, she'll say to the person, damn, can't you wait till 15 more minutes? I'll be off. That's another, that's another. Hey, hey, it might not be what the company wants you to do, but that might be what to get you out of that jam. I'm just saying, you got to be careful because security companies, you know, I've never been afraid of getting fired. Mm -hmm. I've never been afraid of getting fired. Don't threaten me with a good time. If you don't do this, we'll have to terminate your employment. I'm fine with that. You'll check that box. Because you can always get another job. The thing is, I was looking for a job when I gave my thing. That's it. I knew that. Look, nothing lasts forever. You know, there's an end date to things all the time. I'm going to be dead longer than I'm going to be alive. I just don't want to die today. Even though I'm not, I'm not afraid of it. Why bother, right? You, you got to think about that. Companies are funny when they try to use what you don't know as leverage against you. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you all, this is the best weapon that you will ever have is the six inches between your ears. And when you go to work for these security companies, you have to be able to understand the motivation behind the directions that they are asking you to do. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me to stop these customers and check their bags when let's just say if something or someone is stealing, do I have the ability to go beyond just a regular check? I have no problem saying, hey, for security purposes, and I, I love it, I'll throw it on the company. The company would like for me to check your bag. Me, I don't have a problem. I'd let you walk out. But the company <laughs> wants me to <laughs> check your bag. Fuck you, I ain't letting you see shit, okay? My other job is to observe and report. So I am going to watch you in a nonviolent fashion as you walk right on out and I am going to report because I am an official snitch. That's it. Hey, what, hey I, that's your job. You are an official snitch, right? You're not 12, but you're six. So you better have six items on your report. Who, what, where, when, why, how, and what I did not do. Right. That's another. <laughs> what I didn't do was touch them. What I didn't do was make them stay because I'm not getting into this fight. Right. I don't even fight for real, for real. Yeah. So now that I got this security uniform and this badge, you want me to have a new chest? Stop. No, blow that shit back down. Take the caps lock out of your voice. Bring <laughs> Talking big shit. You got all that smoke, that little ass gun. You know, you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Don't let them talk you into doing police shit because you won't get police backup. You won't get the police funeral. You're going to have a line of security cars with green and orange lights. And it's going to be a bunch of crossing guards at your funeral. You're not going to have a police. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. My sister was the security for that, uh, for that boat club. 
they removed her from that post. Of course. And you were supposed to jump in and say, Boy, no. She said, excuse me, when I filled out this application, okay. nowhere in the requirements did it say, do you know how to swim? Right. You didn't give me a dolphin fin, a shark jaw. You didn't give me nothing that and made me. You definitely expected her to jump in there and say that, man. Yes. And that is, I'm telling you. So in the security profession, go in pre being prepared to be blamed. Go in being prepared to be fired. Go in being prepared for them to take some adverse action against you. And I'm not talking about a willful failure to do. There's a difference between certain levels of a failure to do and then you not doing for the security and safety of your person. There's a difference. Like if they want you to sit there and say hi to people who come in and you just don't say nothing. That's a, yeah, or you on your phone. Not pay, that's, that's, that's bad. That's wrong. But then you want me to jump in and save this guy. You want me. Well, that's, that's that item. You, you're supposed to stop them from stealing. Wait a minute. This is your business. If in your business, you didn't protect your stuff by knowing, first of all, you have insurance for all of this stuff. I am not insured under your policy, mm -hmm. right? Secondly, it's your job to protect your stuff. You know you in the hood. You know you need extra barriers to protect. They can see the candy, but you need to turn around so they can't reach inside and touch it. Well, that's not customer friendly. Well, if you want to be customer friendly and let them take it, I'm just going to help you in your mission. <laughs> well, I know Family Dollar has changed a lot. They put all this stuff behind the counter, and they still got security, but they still put all this stuff behind the counter. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're, 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 they're snatching stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, first because of all. Security knew that they were not going to touch them, so they just let them go out the door. Absolutely. Because it's just products. Those products can be replaced. They pay pennies on the dollar to get it. Right. And they are a part of a major corporation, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, any of their subsidiaries. It's all a major corporation. So don't lose your life being afraid to lose a job because just like the game said, people get out of cases. They don't get out of caskets. Right. Mm -hmm. You can find you a new job, but I don't know if they have perk cards in heaven. Right.